when narcissists torment the wrong person. You have to invest so much of your time into dealing with the narcissist, into dealing with all of the toxic things that they are doing to defend yourself from them. But that's exactly what they want you to do. Because they're feeding off your reaction. You become their audience. And your attention has given them fuel to continue their behavior because it's given them validation. They know they're going to get more attention by being toxic and negative rather than being positive. Which is why they choose to cause a disturbance or problem. It's why they want to cause as much damage as possible. Which is why they will try to disrupt whatever you're doing. They will gossip about you. They will make false and damaging statements about you. So that it will give them more attention. Because there are a lot of miserable people in this world. Who they use to their advantage. So it's not hard for them to provoke trouble or bad feelings in other people. Because those types of people are already waiting to react in a very eager way. Which is how narcissists end up starting smear campaigns against you and enforcing their flying monkeys. It's how they get other people to do their bidding. While you're minding your own business, while you're trying to remain positive. You don't want no parts of it. But they will get people to come around you to target you. To have a bad opinion of you. To gossip about you. They get people to come after you. By expressing criticism or pessimism about you. Because these other people are toxic and negative as well. Which is why they're willing to take part in it. Because a normal, healthy person isn't going to gossip about another person. They're not going to torment you. But the narcissist is broadcasting this information about you. They're orchestrating it to get people to believe in their set of opinions and ideas. And they will often leave you without any platform to have your own voice, to express your own opinions and ideas. Because they're cowards, they lack courage in facing difficulty and opposition. Which is why they orchestrate it in a way where there is no threat or danger to themselves. Because they know they're weak. They know they wouldn't be able to deal with that. Because if there was a possibility of danger or harm to themselves, they would have to think twice about doing anything to harm you. Because you would have your own protection. Which is why they have to create a situation where you can't immediately get to them. And they will talk boastfully and overconfidently. Because they assume that there's nothing you can do about it. But all you need is the right associates to get to them. Because then they will change their nature and character very quickly. They torment people because they are weak. They have a lack of courage and firmness of purpose. They're not brave so they try to avoid danger by tormenting you. Because if there was a threat of harm to themselves. They would back off. 
they would withdraw from action and confrontation. They would quickly change their demeanor. And you would see a completely different side to them. And the people who support and admire them are cowards as well. Which is why they do what they do. Because otherwise they would cease to exist. They have to elicit attention by bothering you. And they believe that you're not going to do anything about it. Because in their minds they're safe and protected. They're not exposed to danger or risk. So they have the time of their lives at your expense. By tormenting you. By causing you to suffer. Because they're not brave. Because they're easily frightened or hurt. Which is why they try to avoid danger or difficulties. By creating a situation where you can't immediately get to them. Because if there were a different set of conditions. They wouldn't continue with their behaviour. They might talk boastfully and overconfidently. But they don't want no smoke. They don't want conflict. It's just something they're using to irritate you. Because if there is a threat or danger or harm, their behavior will change very quickly. So don't let them bring you down. Don't let them make you feel bad about yourself. Because that's what they want. You should regard them with contempt. Because they're bottom feeders. They're not worthy of your respect. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.